good afternoon or welcome me welcome back to my channel um i have a special surprise for you all remember i said we were gonna swatch these rosas i i haven't swatched them um we're gonna do it today i peeled them the other day and i was so tired i meant to to do it either wednesday thursday friday and i just couldn't um so we're gonna swatch these out however first we are going to swatch so today saturday yesterday actually thursday night i ordered thursday morning i think i finally made the decision to order um from amazon and i should have just got the 12 set from the start i probably could have saved like around five dollars but i didn't but so it's like 26 and change it costs you when you buy them separately so remember I not so long ago I um, swatched you guys out these beautiful pour that they're now on the Shminka <laughs> along with those Sennelier. So I I left this space. Here you go. I took the Shminka and put those on the wood box with the other Shminkas. And um I left that space on purpose. So when I because I knew I was gonna get this set next. And then maybe I'll start getting, if I don't get another set of six, I'm probably just gonna like buy them up in stock. I haven't decided yet, but um, yeah. So I got this set from Amazon, look at it. So that's, this is the beginner set. This is the one I was gonna get, but for some reason I got the other one first, the one that I had, the, the one that everybody likes. Um, Cause it's very like, it moves a lot. Um, so I want to see this is the introductory one and I was surprisingly enough I it only has one color which I could do I could do the burnt sienna normally comes with the burnt sienna and like um, burnt umber or something like that and I'm like oh I don't like those colors but this one actually came only with the burnt sienna natural which I'm okay and this um, beautiful it comes with the Hansa yellow light uh, pyro red light permanent lace and crimson i know a lot of people don't like ali because it's um it's not um what do you call it life fast but i do like it i like i love that color i wish it was life fast but it's not um Pithalio blue green shade oh my god that's a beautiful color beautiful ultramarine blue and then bertiana natural that's all it has um so yeah i'm really happy with the with this choice so i actually already swatched them on the little core side of um this is a hundred percent cotton i do believe this is um one of my uh sheets that i like took apart and put them on pellets because i wanted to see how they how watercolors act in 100 percent cotton versus like here which is this is the van gogh cellulose paper 100 percent cellulose so as you can see they're very vibrant very vibrant this is the sennelier but this is core so the top ones are just the ones you're gonna see and i'm gonna do it again because i want i want you to see them under and i had to put them there anyway but on here i have them so i have them in order already hansa yellow light uh, red pyro ali uh pathalio uh pathalio green shade um, ultramarine and then the burn, burn sienna so we're gonna do the burn sienna well no I want to do it in order so there you go see how it starts it's actually really nice these colors I I don't know why I hesitated for the longest time to get core I guess I I, I don't know sometimes I do listen to people like uh, I really like the core because they move they're beautiful colors they're US brand you know you name it I think they are a little bit pricey compared to some other ones, but hey, they, they're, they you know, golden, whatever. Um, but um, like, I really didn't like the Sorrow. I got the, the, and those tubes are bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna give them another go, but I really didn't like them. I was like, oh, I should have got chain hand, some other, I don't know, some other one and uh ooh. sorry guys so the, now i'm on the allison oh i love this allison in crimson it's, look at that 
They're so creamy, so vibrant, so beautiful. Oh, so luscious. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. And it's like very... I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's very violet. This um, Ali, Ali from from uh, here. I never seen it like that. Usually it's super light, but this one is very. Oh, look at that! Oh my God, I fell in love with this color when I swatched it. So it looks like it's doing justice. Um, yeah, with the core, I don't know. I guess I put a little more paint than I should have. Because, yeah, look at how much I dab and look how much it has. That's okay. I'll just leave it like that. And look at that. Oh, they're they're powerful. They're little, they're small but mighty. They almost remind me of the Daniel Smith when I first got introduced to them. Oh, my God. There was just, you only needed smaller than this and it would, it was just, it was just, explode on your paper even though during those times which was two two years ago it felt feels like a long time now um it uh i was using a lot more cellulose paper i still didn't know which 100 percent con suited me better so i was kind of still trying now just doing it on the strathmore but i i like this um van gogh and it cost me like 33 dollars i think now on, on amazon and it's big it's very big but I really like the the fact that it's 100% cellulose, but it, it really does it justice, you know, the watercolors. It doesn't, I noticed it's very little change from there to here. Look at that. So very little change. They're, they are more vibrant on 100% cotton, but like, look at the, the pathalio, barely any change. So yeah, that's why I like this Van Gogh. And it's like I said, it's a huge thing. I think I'm gonna start doing more, more watercolor like this, like this size, like big. Obviously, I'm not gonna fold my paper, but so this size. So now we are going to get into the rosas. So let me pause you and set all that stuff up. But look at that core. Look, ugh, look at those beauties. Hi guys, welcome back. So uh, I set up my my um, palette. So uh, rosas, but I just wanted to say something. Along with the core that I got from Amazon, I also got this meeting and it came like this, but I took it out and everything. This little maiden porcelain, 12 well, and it's kind of small actually for like, I think it was like, Twelve dollars or something. Yeah, it's quite small, but um, that's the one I was gonna get three of these for like twenty eight dollars, and then they didn't ship them. I don't know what happened. They lost them. I don't know. So I canceled it, and then now now I just decided just to get one, just so that when I get like watercolors on the fly, um, if I don't have a place to store them, like I could squeeze them in here and try them out, paint with them. And I could put on the lid and everything. Yeah, so I like that. Um, that's the reason that I got it, but yeah. So that's that, and back to the roses. So if you were if you were wanting, because you know, I got this on Monday, and I meant to swatch it that day, but guys, it takes a while to peel, <laughs> to peel all these, and I remember I peeled them on Tuesday. Cause on Monday I did an interview, whatever I was. I have I haven't received anything, so I don't know, and all this stuff. And I peeled them on Tuesday evening, and then I was like, I was worn out. Cause guess what I did? I set them up by hand, cause I was lazy. And then I just the rosa, they're really nice about it. So the sticker, you could peel a little the backing on the when you peel it out, and then you could just it'll stick. See, you don't have to add extra glue. So I just decided to stick them all. So these are 24, so these are the first 12, which is going to be, oh, it's not focusing. There you go, Catnum Lemon, Catnum Yellow Light, Catnum Yellow Deep, Golden Yellow. I don't have the color, that's beautiful color. I'm looking forward to that. Catnum Orange, beautiful orange. Catnum Red Light, Carmine. 
matter red oh i love matter red violet violet is beautiful and it's granulates you'll see um olive green i don't have olive green on this on any of my roses emerald green this is a color i've been wanting and then green just green so yeah beautiful greens i'm really pleased i'm really glad that i got it and if you guys wanted it i checked still yesterday and it's still on sale on amazon still 45 dollars. so if you don't have it you're a beginner go get it because this is an excellent set um i think it's professional set at a certain grade level and this is i, I found this interesting so it, it's like I said, it's not heavy. And actually, once I peel the thing, they went straight into the well. So it is, this is like two in one because you get them like this and you could keep the pans and then pour if you want on the pans. But you could actually buy more Rosa tubes and then pour all your extras or whatever and create your own Rosa palette on here. And then you'll still have the little, the little Rosa pans to, um, Pour the same paint that it was originally on there i did find that um this i think you could swatch on here so we're gonna try that out so here goes the hansa hopefully it doesn't be no it doesn't actually look at that a little bit yeah it does a little bit but you know what but it's it's nice so here here is the cat the catnum 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 lemon i'm sorry catnum lemon i love my le catnum lemons but i do find that the rosas are more the lemons are more a little bit more um opaque which i like i like that oh let me see this color oh look at that this is the catnum yellow light beautiful look at that see the difference one is more lemony than the other. Get it? <laughs> and yeah, I really, this is the reason I love Rosa. And these guys, I don't know if because they're new here in the U.S., but they're smoother than my other Rosas that I've gotten. So this might be a new batch for all we know. They're so creamy, so smooth. See, this is, this, I thought the Isaro ones were going to be like this. And they were not. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I'm going to give them another go on 100% cotton and see what I think. But I was they disappointed me bad. And they were, I wouldn't say expensive because the tubes, like I said, I think they're either 7 millimeter or 10. I'm not sure. I think it's 7. But there was 10 of them. So basically they gave them to me at $10. Well, they were expensive, I guess, for 10 of them. No, see this. Yeah. So $5 a, a tube. I thought, yeah, that for me, that's pricey because I'm cheap, you know. I like to get good things at a cheap price. So now is the orange, so I lost my one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, my God, I love these colors. I'm, this is one, two, three, four. This is why I love roses. Look at the vibrancy. Oh, I could swim in these colors, I swear to God. One, two, four, five and i still consider myself a beginner but thanks to youtube i acquired a lot of knowledge on watercolors so i um do your research and all that because um i don't like it when people say oh i recommend this because honestly that's i mean that's just your point of view three four five six and I'm not talking like Lindsay. Even Lindsay, the fur crafters, she didn't like the uh, Marie's Masters watercolors, which she graded them as student grade, but they're not. They're they're professional grade, and they're super cheap. And she didn't like them, and she like she didn't kind of recommend them. And I do because guess what? Like if you're on a budget, I mean those tubes were really well, and they are really good. I did like them they're not as smooth as this ones and i think if you're a beginner or just getting or like looking to get a professional set this will be a good set for all the reasons that i already told you this is like a two-in-one palette it's not heavy you'll still be able i mean these paints last a long time they're super creamy very easy to re-wet work with 
um, they're not gonna stick anywhere you know they dry pretty fast I haven't got mold in any of my watercolors so and sometimes I, I put them out a little bit damp so now we're gonna get into the um, oh the violet the violet that's my last one the violet I already oh, I'm gonna have to swatch it over here guys the violet because there's no I forgot about that space that's okay that's why I, I leave more space and then all, and then that's why this is so big because um, that's why I like this watercolor paper because it's so big but yeah the violet it's so nice so now oh, okay and the olive I also need to swatch it I guess I did oh because originally I was gonna do the little squares but then I decided one two three one two three then I decided to um, to uh, to put the little stickers that's okay so now the olive and then the emerald and then the green olive so I mean emerald yeah emerald is emerald is very similar to the I have it you know where I have it as a one of the 12 color set that I have for um, the only ones I have for uh, what's that brand from Russia white nights oh yeah this color is beautiful this oh this green wow it looks darker on this on the sticker but it actually is lighter well 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 what a surprise look at that okay i'm gonna pause you look at that all these beautiful colors oh and i think this violet is actually um less dark it was darker in my other uh, in my uh, botanical set and my other and then the both botanical well a botanical that i have that's the first one i bought the 14 set and and it's super powerful and then i have the romantic one and i think it's on there too and this is like more like a leaning to a lilac so yeah so beautiful look at that Ugh. i'm telling you guys i want to swim in these watercolors and they're so smooth they're even smoother than the tubes from core i'm telling you this will be a good introductory set for anybody professional beginner intermediate whatever this is the set you want to get let me pause you and move this sheet so i could do the this row